take your powers for now anyway to beat up a bunch of local kids? Put your feet up and enjoy your retirement in this beautiful house with all your old friends. Didn't she used to have super breath? That's Hurricane Jane they used to call her. Here at Dun Manor, we want you to have as much freedom as possible. We recognize that your powers are part of who you are. But when those powers create an unsafe environment for the other residents, it is a concern. On a happier note, Hero Day is coming round again. Jesus, that's it? This is Hero Day? This is just a regional one. The big one's in New York. Are you famous? Sure I am. Then how come I haven't heard of you? I love you. Can I get your autograph? Oh, sure. Oh, just shoot me now. Jerry? How are you, man? I saw something strange in Jerry's room. There's something going on here. This is a simple task designed to gauge your level of control over your ability. Do you have an aspirin? We're on to you. You're not only downwardly managing people's powers, you're absorbing them. Ray, the little pack of cronies broken out, so we're bringing the plan forward to tonight. Pure peritone, death for any superhero. All the world needs is one superhero. Well, it's time to wake up and smell the justice. Now I have all your powers. Alicia! What are you gonna do, bore me to death with one of your anecdotes? Trousers up, Bernard. Hi, Sonny. Me six iron. No, we call that the wedge. Golf is not his game. You know what is his game? Baseball. This guy was made yourself. Signed to the Yanks. You were a Yankee? Almost. So what happened? I made the biggest mistake of my life that night. So, do you have a plan? Maybe something in management. Really? You barely have a high school diploma. Hey, kid. Still coaching? You had the stuff to be one of the great. Yeah, but I'm not. How long since you've been back home? Just a couple weeks. Just want you to know how sorry I am. It wasn't that I didn't want to see you anymore. Just wanted you to move on. It's going to take a while for people to get used to your back. I want you to meet that kid. Certainly doesn't lack confidence. You can learn a lot from Sonny. I want you two to get to know each other. I don't have to listen to no never was, okay? You have nothing to teach me, so step off! You next, superstar? Let's see what you got, hot shot. Nice, Sonny! What would you say if I got you a spot on the team? I'd say you were crazy. <laughs> I think you still got the goods. I think it's great. Baseball is who you are. It's who you always wear. They're sending scouts to the seal. You know how many people don't want to see me in a Yankee uniform? Nice how things are falling back into place for you. I just don't trust myself yet. Trust your instinct. Believe in yourself. It's like a one-of-a-kind story. Like baseball history. Second chances are hard to come by. Be grateful you get one. I don't want no hitter against this. This might be it. Don't let it end this way. Stand up, grab a bat. Do you even like baseball? No. I like soccer, you know that.
term freaks. Any freaks who are running loose are illegal. You better get away from my house. I don't want to hide anymore. Karate is a way of communicating. Ask me a question. What are your plans for the weekend? I'm going to do some grocery shopping and rent a film to watch in the comfort of my home. Home. Did that answer your question? I want you to tell me why you're here. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of the dark. I'm afraid of other men. <laughs> I want to be what intimidates me. You came to the right place. I'm taking my first class today. Your new white belt? Is that the first belt color? White is before color. You haven't earned color yet. Today's lesson, to kick with your fists and punch with your feet. That makes perfect sense. Whoosh. Good. There's a mental component as well. Everything should be as masculine as possible. You may want to start on those reports. That pile is getting awfully high. I won't be petting you anymore. This is for your own good. What's your favorite style of music? Adult contemporary. No. It should be metal. You're a blade and I'm sharpening you. I see a little of myself in you. Is that you, Sensei? Why are you filming this? This isn't a safe place, Casey. I know you're confused about what's happening. You have to trust me. You should have never started taking karate. You can't be weak anymore. I'm interested in buying a gun. I need something that can fit into my hand. Sounds like you're after a handgun. I challenge you to a fight to the death in unarmed combat. This is your belt. It is yours. It is sacred. There'll be a $15 charge to replace a lost belt. How do we win? We win by keeping you alive. Action, action, action! Terminator Dark Fate is the direct sequel to Terminator 2. We pick up the characters that we knew from Terminator 2 and we carry them forward. We get to continue the story with Jim back in the writing and the producing chair. He knows the material like nobody else. I think for fans of the franchise, the biggest thing is that Linda's returning. People love this character. People love Sarah. She's back. Being back is wonderful. Sarah's a force to be reckoned with, and I was ready to explore that. I'm delighted to work again with Linda Hamilton to work with Cameron, Tim Miller, and with all the new cast. This new film has recaptured that tone of those first two films. It's gritty, it's fast, it's intense. And it's just a white knuckle ride. Two days ago, I had this nice, simple life. And now it's a nightmare. If travel is searching, and home has been found, I'm not stopping.
Who are you? My name is Sarah Connor. Never seen one like you before. Almost human. I am human. Why do you care what happens to her? Because I was her. How do we win? We win by keeping you alive. I'm going home.